problem with that? These, again, are 3D printed. There you go. Okay. Choice, so you know, print them, right? And these, again, are for tactile learning. So, again, if you feel down there, you should get to the thing of trying to figure out who train. they are and what they are. So, for example, there's one of the dippers. Bet you I'll find a horsey. You have to learn a constellation. I found a big dipper. The constellations. This is another way that our students have learned. Okay. A couple of years ago, they actually three D printed a globe, and then they put lights in there, LEDs that light up. So any idea who that is? That's Cassiopeia. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah, like I mean. a W. So if you look up in the sky and find a W, you pretty well know where you're at. Okay? So, and now the Earth Here's another way to learn it. Somebody 3D printed this. This is Cassiopeia also. Okay. Where do the stars come up? When it's dark, it becomes light. Yeah. Where? It lights come out, or um, stars come out when it's night. Right. Comes up in the east. So the earth is going around like this. Right? The moon is going around us and we're going around the sun. So as we rotate, everything's going to come up in the east. So it looks like those stars are moving. Okay. Are they moving? Who's moving? Us. The earth is moving. Okay. So then by midnight, where are they at? Half of the night's gone. Come up, they're up, up above us. Okay. So the best time to look at a star, when this says the best time is October 9th, it's an astronomical midnight on October 9th. Midnight, straight up. And then it's going to continue to go, it's going to go down in the west. When it's gone, it's gone. And then it's down below us. Okay. Now, let me put this somewhere. Get to the moon. Next Saturday night, so you're kind of starting late in this. Next Saturday night is international, which means the whole world is going to look up at the moon, hopefully. International observe the moon night. The reason being is that if you put somebody on the moon, or you're going to fly anywhere, what's your problem? We can walk on land, okay, most people cannot swim across the ocean, right? And then we got mountains. A lot of people can't even climb a mountain. They're a mile high. So you've got ups and downs, what we call altitude. And an airplane flies over there. So stand up a minute.
help me here. No, I want to show you for a minute. So now, just like on the Earth, we've got to find the North Pole and the South Pole. Okay? So what did I tell you? It's cold up and down. This is the South Pole. Look, where you see this. That's where we're going to put a man and a woman on the moon in 2024. So, give me that. Take Here, the other end. Up the middle finger. And hold it up. Okay, hold it up. Okay. Nice and strong. This here is called, in Latin, you probably won't learn Latin, but I had to learn Latin in high school. Okay. Trigoris. That's cold. Trigor is cold. So that's called Trigoris, or the sea of cold. Okay. And then we have other ones. Can you hold it any fire? Here. You, you hold it up. Change places with her. <laughs> she can't go high enough. Okay. So this is your moon. So just like the Earth, you've got to learn South America from North America, Asia, okay, the continents, and so on. So basically, you see these QR codes. That's what he's working on there. You're going to learn to fly a drone to that area, or drive a car to that area, just like on Earth. Your car got me, you from your house to my house. Okay? So that's the QR code, which means quick response. It tells you when you're there. Just like when you get to McDonald's, you know you're at McDonald's. Why? Because it's a little There's a big, big sign that says we're there. Okay? So basically, this is the North Pole of the Moon. The South Pole, okay? And then you have East and West also. Plus you have the moon divided just like the Earth into halves, the upper half and the lower half. So up to now, we have sent Apollo missions up. They've all landed on the Northern Hemisphere, none on the South. This is where we're gonna land in three years, the, the North. So we landed here, and we landed there. The first time we landed there, and then we landed there, and we put a vehicle on the moon. So we're also printing, 3D printing the vehicles so that we can drive it across the moon map. So this is called a moon map. You put it on the floor, and you can fly over it, or what? Hold that a minute, yeah. We drove a rover. Wait a minute, all right. We drove a rover on the, on the Mars before. Rover, here, right. Well, is a rover on Mars? Or is a rover on the moon? Mars. Mars? Yeah. I'll have to look that up. I thought the rover, we put the rover on uh, the moon. But you may be right. On Mars, we just put what? The first in the world again. We just put a drone on Mars and flew it as a drone. You know what the name of that is? Last one. Okay, well, try to find out by next week. So next Saturday night, as I said, is International Grim the Moon Night. So next Saturday, we've got telescopes for you to actually look at the moon and look in here. Look. Put it away. Here's a moon, what you just saw. Okay, Apollo mission 11, Apollo mission 15, and the other ones. So all we're going to find is 11 and 15. And then the new one here, which we don't even know where it's going to be yet, but it's going to be down at the South Pole. Okay, so you all have a telescope to find those and show them to me, 
show them to Roy, and we'll take pictures of them. Okay. On this part of here, it tells you when that was, where it was. And this tells you the next one. Apollo 15, where it was, when it was. So. Okay, any questions? Okay, let's take a break. Stop it, Ron. Do you have a question?